Welcome to another video. Ukraine recently shared a video of a successful drone strike against Russian military vehicles in a convoy. On Twitter, the Ukrainian armed forces published a video showing a drone tracking, engaging, and precisely striking Russian military units in a convoy formation. The Bayraktar TB2 drone is a Turkish design. The Ukrainian Bayraktars have destroyed at least 32 vehicles. Compared to the US MQ-9 Reaper, it is much lighter and more similar to the MQ-1 Grey Eagle. Bayraktar is a Turkish word that means flag owner or flag bearer. These attack drones proved to be a tough nut for aging air defense systems. A Bayraktar TB2 costs below $2 million. The Turkish UAV is technologically nowhere near the cut like General Atomic Sky Guardian or MQ-9 Reaper drones. But it is doing what most armed forces dream of. However, its appeal lies in its cost-benefit ratio, which is the essence of war. Comparable to other aircraft, this aircraft is estimated to cost below $2 million and performs like a high-end weapon. It can travel through the air for more than 24 hours on hold while usually limited to an area of 150 kilometers. Bayraktar is a medium-range, long-range drone capable of loitering at altitudes up to 25,000 feet for up to 24 hours. Ukraine currently operates 20 drones and is seeking more. Drone strikes can be a powerful tool for Ukrainian forces on defending themselves against Russians. In the video posted on Twitter, a Russian combat vehicle is shown being targeted and attacked. It is unknown what type of munition was used in the attack, but the Bayraktar has laser range finding capabilities and laser targeting capabilities. The aircraft flies around 80 miles per hour and has a payload of 121 pounds and a 105 horsepower engine, according to reports. But it has four laser guided smart micro munition missiles. In light of the success of these drone strikes, one wonders whether Russian air defense is effective. According to reports, Russia operates a large number of S-400 long-range surface-to-air missile systems, as well as several other short-range air defenses. Despite this, Russia may not have enough air defense systems to keep its troops and convoys safe. Today we end here and thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share your comments in the section below.